On today's episode of the Bootstrap Biz Advice Show, I want to walk you through how I use Canva to plan out my Instagram posts for the week. If you have not gotten access to my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with video tutorials, cheat sheets, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or click on the link in the description. Without further ado, let's hop in. of us are accustomed to creating graphics for Instagram on Canva and you can easily get to that by typing in Instagram into the search bar and selecting Instagram post and so here are tons of templates that are available to you if you want to create graphics for your Instagram account from quote graphics to examples of your work but what a lot of folks don't realize is there's a very simple way for you to use Canva to plan out your feed. You don't need to pay for another app on your phone or download another app on your phone to do this. So I'm going to walk you through what I do on the weekend to plan out my post for my About 90 Instagram account. And so on Mondays, I like to share mood boards. And so I created my own mood board template based on different ones that I had seen online. And so this is the template I made for myself to do mood boards on Monday. Then I thought, well, it could be fun to share fonts from different Squarespace sites. So I made that graphic. And as you can see at the top, I actually named these templates. So this is something that you're able to do in Canva and it can help you to keep track of your posts. Now what's interesting about this one, and I'll put it in this view for you, is that these are actually my graphics for a slider post. So within Instagram, you can just upload one square post or you can upload multiple in a gallery. And so I put those here and I was able to get here, let me close this out, by selecting this view in the bottom right, which is called the page manager. To be honest with you, I rarely use this, um, but I find it really useful for planning my Instagram posts. So when you click on that, not only are you able to see your pages, but you're able to click and drag and reorder them. And so that's another way you can plan out your feed. So these graphics are all slider posts. And so pages three through seven are going to be stitched together into one post. After that, I've got some tips why I left ConvertKit for Flowdesk. And so I created those templates and I gave the steps one, two, and three. And I ended with my code to get Flowdesk for 50% off. Then I made some website preview posts, one that was like a collage, uh, one that was just one image of a computer. And these graphics were actually made using the website Smart Mockups. I'll put that link in the comments. Um, this is a super easy way for you to create website previews. Um, and I don't use uh, Photoshop or Illustrator anymore to do this because I can do it in seconds. So that's what those posts are. Then I created some quote graphic templates here. And so that way I can pull from those. And I did some client testimonials and threw in a client headshot. So this is what I want to focus on right now. So once I created these different graphics, I went into Pages Manager so that I could reorder things. And then I created this bad boy. And we'll scroll down to the bottom. And this is my outline for the week of posts. Now, as you can see, there are actually more than um, five posts for the five days of the week. If you wanna post multiple times a week or you wanna post on the weekends, you know, take that into account. But this way I am able to see how do the graphics that I created look together in an Instagram feed? Because within Pages Manager, yes, you're seeing all of them at a glance, but you're not really getting an idea of what they look like side by side. So to do this, all I did was create all my graphics, then go to download and selected the pages of those graphics. So they all came in a little uh, zip folder. And that's something that I would put on Dropbox to use throughout the week. And I re-uploaded into Canva. Once I did that, I'll show you from scratch. I came down to the bottom and I just made a blank template. And I went over to the side and I clicked on elements. Under elements, you'll see something called grids. 
and just click on all to reveal the different grids. Now you're going to have to scroll for a while because these are in order of how many images are appearing in the grid. But if you scroll long enough, and if you use um, this enough, it'll show up higher um, on your feed. There it is. You've got your three by three and it perfectly sizes it for a square format, which is what Instagram uses. So once you re-import all of those graphics that you made, you can simply drag them around. So if we go to uploads, we'll just pull in, um, we'll scroll down here. So we'll just pull them in. So I could say, okay, well, I wanna put that one there. How does that one look there? And once you start to see how things look side by side, maybe you'll wanna change some things around. And so if you wanna change it around, you can just click on it, delete it, and drag it somewhere else. And so this is how I'm able to view what my feed could look like in advance. It helps me to see, you know, which things look good side by side. And I could say, oh, you know, I really don't want, you know, two pictures side by side. Let me change that out and put that one over here and add this text over here. Okay, well, I don't really want, you know, this text side by side. It's too much white at the top. So maybe I'll put my quote graphic up there and put my tip graphic down there. And so that's actually how I plan out my Instagram feed. And so I just download this post to show me, okay, which ones do I need to post every day and in which order? So if you've not taken advantage of this, this is a very simple way for you to decide what's going to go on your Instagram feed during the week. It's a great hack to combine what you can do in Canva with what you're doing on Instagram. And I hope you found this useful. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do that because I teach people with very simple tips how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now.